Those of you who, oh my gosh, <laughs> welcome to this vlog. If you've never seen one before, I do some unboxings. I'll do an unboxing here, focus on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I love to eat out, so you'll see some food probably along the way as well. But this particular item is an item that you were interested in as well because I showed it in the last fashion haul, the net a porter and this is the last season. So if you wanted this, Hopefully you can see these and if they are still available, you can get them because a lot of you liked them. Those of you who, oh my gosh. <laughs> and those of you who saw the net a porte haul will know that there's a pair of Todd's that I was looking at that I, I were not available anymore on net a porte Actually, I don't know if they ever were. There's a flat version that was, but the newer version, I don't love as much. So let me just take them out. This is not sponsored by Farfetch, Farfetch, but I love shopping on their site because they curate from boutiques around the world. So these came from Italy and sometimes when I order from Farfetch, it actually arrives earlier than if I order from the United States. Excited about these. I've never seen them in person, so this will be the first time there's a shoe bag in here. So I tried those Laura Pianas the last time and they were too small. Now these are 37 so I hope they fit but these are them. So these are the ones that I was looking at and I couldn't find and I found them on Farfetch. So sometimes if you're looking for something and you can't find them, try Farfetch because again they curate from all over the world and you might be able to find something there that you can't find anywhere else. So these I don't even know if they were available on the Todd site. These are the ones with the little heel, which is what I was looking for. So I was looking for a shoe with a very small heel, nothing too high because um, I don't wear high heels anymore uh, for very long. So something like this that's not totally flat. I was looking for a replacement for my Gucci uh, loafers, which are totally flat, but those I've worn, gosh, a lot. So I needed to find a replacement for them and something just a little bit different and a little bit dressier. These don't feel as soft as those Gucci loafers, but they're very nice shoe. You can tell how well made they are. Really nice. So these are white, but they're not super like white white. There's a bit of a cream element to these. You've got the, um, what looks like a chain here, the buckle almost, and it says Todd's here. It's very small. I like that the logo is subtle and subdued, not very obvious. And then that's it for logoing on the shoe. So I'll link it below. There were only a few in at certain sizes, and then I think there were some in others, but let me know if you picked these up because I know so many of you wanted to pick them up as well. They look like they are going to be really, really versatile. Okay, so I just tried them out really quick. And I think 37 is going to be fine. I'm a size 7. They are not soft like the Gucci ones. The Gucci ones are really soft right out of the box. But these are going to take some breaking in. But I think these are perfect. So happy I picked these up. Tower 28 cents something over. I love their mascara. This one right here. That's a really great mascara if you're looking for one. Um, and I'm very picky about mascaras. Let's see this one. And I think I'll try some of these on in the mirror for you tomorrow and then we'll do like a get ready, like a quick get ready with me. So I won't film like a makeup look for a video. Sometimes I'll do that. Um, but I think I'll just film a look to film a look and then we'll do that tomorrow. Oh, so this, it says sculpting soft cream contour. Soft cream contour, sculpt your face like the work of art you are. Oh, that's why it looks like it's in a frame <laughs> in a museum. No artist skills required. Four perfectly neutral shades, and it says this shade is curated just for you. Thank you so much, Tower 28. That was very sweet. And this is in Getty. It looks like a beautiful shade. Um, available at Sephora, Credo, 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 Credo. Fragrance free, silicone free, natural finish, safe for sensitive skin, won't clog pores, vegan, cruelty free. Oh, there are four shades. So there's Broad, which is fair light, Getty, which is light medium. Hammer is medium tan and Simon is deep. It says super blendable neutral undertones can't mess up. And it's $20, it says. Very creative packaging. Here's a close-up of that bronzer. It looks really nice. I know so many of you are fans of their blush. I've tried their blush, actually. 
I used it for quite a bit to test it out and <laughs> I don't know where it went, but it was very nice. And then you can see there, that's the shade there. I just saw there's a little card that fell out. I've been in the beauty biz for the last 15 plus years, still find it intimidating to contour. I set out to make one so foolproof that anyone can use it, even me. It's super blendable with natu natural, neutral undertones, no orange or gray cast. So somewhere in the middle, you can't mess it up. And that's from the founder of the company. So thank you so much. Okay, so I forgot to mention, those shoes were a recommendation of my sister. I'm fully curating a spring wardrobe here. Actually, I ordered this from Neiman Marcus. They had a sale and I ordered this jumpsuit. It's in a, like a neutral tone like this top. And it's a zipper, which is nice. And like I said, oh, it's an oatmeal. So that's the shade. It's got short sleeves like this. It's got pockets in the front. It's got a lab label. It's got a um, collar right here. I like light colored clothing for the spring and for the um, summer. They do have some darker colors, which would be more practical. And then I like a little bit of a looser fit, so that's why I went with large here. So we'll try all of this on probably tomorrow. Morning. I have on just uh, eyebrows, that's it, and my glasses, which if you haven't seen this before, they make a big difference. It just looks like I did something and I haven't done anything except put on some glasses, except they're prescription, so it's a little bit blurry. So I hope this is, hope that's focused. But I have bought some new makeup because I know in addition to fashion, you love to see the makeup. So I ordered from uh, Violet Gray. They have a great selection. If you like Victoria Beckham, and I can't remember what the shipping was on this, but I know on the Victoria Beckham site, usually there's a minimum of purchase, but if you just wanna buy one thing, like an eyeliner, it doesn't make sense to pay the shipping. So I bought an eyeliner, and then there are other brands on Violet Gray that are really good. So I bought two things off Violet Gray, including a Victoria Beckham order. Oh yeah, I got another uh, Westman Atelier, their Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm because it's one of my favorites. Oh, maybe we'll put that on today. I forgot about that. But this is a Victoria Beckham um, eyeliner in one of the new shades in Surfside. So this is a really pretty one. I don't know if I'll use that today because I'm really excited about the Chantecaille collection. That just the unboxing went up today, but I love that one. It's such a pretty palette. One of the ones I Get really excited about so this is the shade oh that's pretty it has a little bit of green in it i love a blue with some green usually typically flattering so on my skin tone at least yeah that's beautiful so i think i'm gonna love that it's almost bordering on a teal there's so much green in there but we'll give that a try in a different video and then i picked up like i said that westman atelier this is my second one and that's how much I love this product. It's really comfortable on the lip. Comes in a little baggie like this, and it's like the raspberry shade. I think I'll use this today. It's the M-A-P-U-C-E shade, I think. And also, these are makeup products. There are new, two of the new items. I wanna do a comparison with my Holy Grail products. So we have here the Tom Ford concealer and this one gosh it was really hard to pick the shade there were i don't know 20 shades or something and that makes it more difficult for me i don't know why it doesn't have to be a narrow range it can be a wide range with fewer products usually they're a little bit more adaptable i find versus uh one that has very specific shades and then it seems to skip like there was something i was looking for i can't remember the coding but in the i was looking for a cool tone Beautiful packaging, by the way. But there was like a gap in the colors. So I go, Ooh, is this gonna work? So I already have trouble finding the right shade for Tom Ford, I just do. And so finding a concealer was even trickier because they have a little chart that you could uh, look at. But I picked this up in 4WO Hazel. I 
think I wanted a cool shade, but they didn't have anything in this range. That was the problem. I tried to think of um, online what mocha would look like because I love mocha in clay de po. Oh yeah, that might be too much color. Oh gosh. Well, we're gonna try it because I just want to go in with concealer today. This might look too dark. Ugh, Tom Ford in their shade range. I just have such a challenge. I have a few videos up where it's totally the wrong shade of foundation, but at least we'll try for performance. And I did want something that would kind of combat my dark spots. So that's why I wanted something more on the peachy side. Then I ordered this because a lot of people wanted to see this. I even brought out my perfect blur palette, so I thought I was gonna use that. Um, by the way, my hair is uh, Dyson. I used the brush last night, the one that's a round one with the bristles, just to kind of straighten and give it a little bit of body. And then this morning I went in with the other one, the um, barrel, the larger barrel. So it looks like this. Um, same kind of matte packaging that NARS typically has. It's a very sleek compact. And I noticed this shade was out a lot. So this is Sunshore. The one that was next to this was too, it was too olive or too, there was something that I knew wouldn't work for me. I needed something a little bit pinkier. I tried to find something close to Chantecai's um, Perfect Blur Powder. So I think that might be the closest. So this is Sunshore and this is um, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side when I really do a video, but I wanna just try this by itself today and see how it goes. I mean, the finishes look similar. Okay, so we're gonna do a little get ready with me here. I'm just gonna wash my hands first after touching all of this packaging, and then um, we'll do a really quick get ready. Oh, I had tea. Where did it go? Oh, I'll drink it later. I don't even know what happened to it, but I had some tea ready to go. So I just have a little container here with all the makeup. Oh, I brought out the Tower 28 this Sculptino in Getty, just to try this out as well because I love their products. Let's go, and we're gonna go, like I said, to brunch, so I wanna put some SPF on, but nothing too super heavy duty, so this is, again, what happens to my Tatcha packaging, I don't know. Make sure to shake it up. It's SPF 50, it's mineral, I love that. It's physical sunscreen. So this is the one that adjusts as well, so it's not gonna look like this, but I do put it on quite generously. Okay, I think I just messed up my eyebrows. Let's see. And I just read a couple of things about what comes first, sunscreen or primer. And most of the articles I saw said sunscreen's your last step in skincare. But then primer comes next. Let me know what you think. Well, I'm letting that settle. And let's just put this on because it's so moisturizing. The Western Atelier. And you can see how pretty the shade is. Like I said, it's a lovely like raspberry shade. It's so pretty. Guess while we're letting this settle in, let's do eyes really fast. Love this palette, the Chantecaille palette. I'm gonna try it a little differently today. Hi, babe. Hi. I'll be ready in about mm, 30 minutes. I'm taking back home. Oh, thanks, honey. What are you gonna eat? Same, same. Same, same. Oh, something is like, huh? talking to them, there's something I was interacting, I was trying out um, some skincare this morning and something's interacting here. Take a little bit of the gold this time and then just apply it on top. This brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of this just on the lash line. This is, actually I didn't realize this is a new brush by Chantecai. Let's go in with concealer now, okay? I don't know if that's gonna lighten up anymore. I'm really thinking this concealer is too dark though. Oh yeah, I was gonna get the clay de peau. Let's see, how does that look? Oh, actually, I did okay. Okay, I'm gonna use it up here. Let's just see what happens today. Under eye concealer brush, so good. Yeah, it's a little tad deep for a concealer for me. Oh my goodness, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put primer on. Okay, well, let's do an experiment. Let's do primer on this side. So let's do the La Base Illuminatrice, just to see. Let's sit for a second. Let's just go under the eye, though. It's like a lighter weight, it appears, than something like a clay de peau, just off first impression here. It seems like it would be hydrating for those who find clay de peau a little bit not that it's drying, but it definitely doesn't have this level of moisture. Okay, I'm gonna go in now. This might be a good summer shade for concealer, but it's not, like I said, it's not a clay de peau for sure. But we'll do a side-by-side -side anyway at some point. 
Like I'm having to go in a couple times. Gosh, it kind of reminds me of just like a stick foundation. So far it's okay. Like I don't know if it's gonna do well here. Which has got a lot more moisture than clay de peau. But we'll try it. Okay. So you can see it didn't fully cover those spots really well. Like I wouldn't call this like a high coverage concealer. Soft matte is what the what the finish is. It's okay for now. It's, that's my impression. First quick impression. Let's take a little bit of 4C. Um, Chantecaille's Le Camouflage Stealer and just do some targeted right here. Under the eye. Yeah, already I can see that Tom Ford is like breaking up a little bit in the corners. Let's do this Tower 28. Again, this is in the shade Getty. I've got a refer number four. Ooh, that may not have been the best brush for that, but let's try. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, Tower 28 makes such lovely products. Actually, I just bought um, two more of their mascaras. That's how much I love their mascara. Okay, I went and I grabbed this refer number 31. Reminds me of the buff and blur brush a little bit. Okay, so right off the bat though, it's more powdery. Yeah, so comparing this with a perfect blur powder right away, it's, this doesn't happen when I get the powder off the buff and blur, no, off the perfect blur. It's not powdery at all, so that's a difference right there, okay. Interesting, initial like cooling sensation. Even this, can you see that? Sunshore added a little bit of color. So I think this isn't even categorized as a, maybe a light medium? I don't know, interesting. Hmm. Finish wise, why does the mirror seem cloudy? Is there a sticker? It's very lightweight, compact as well. So if you're looking for something travel friendly, like this is really lightweight. And I think there's a plastic on here, but I can't remove it. I'm not gonna spend time doing that right now. I can't remove it though. Let me just add some mascara. I'm gonna go with, oh, I'm gonna go in with some Tower 28 mascara. Okay, yeah, so mascara makes a huge difference. Let's go ahead and add blush. Oh my gosh, I love this blush. It's the Apple Blossom Blush by Chantecaille. Look how pretty, just such a pretty shade. I'm gonna go in with a different brush that uh, Ray Morris Mini Kabuki is a great one. It picks up a lot of product though, and uh, these are quite pigmented. So we've got a number 37 refer right here. Let's try a little more of this powder, just to see, I don't know if it makes a difference. Let's see if we can blur the blush like I normally do with the um, Perfect Blur. Okay, opening this is a chore. I don't have long nails, so just getting this open is one thing, but I like that NARS has a wide array of shades for this one versus the Perfect Blur, which just has the two shades, and then you have the Lotus powder, which has a little bit of a glow to it. So this, I mean, an advantage of this is that there are more shades available, different undertones as well, but I'm lucky in that the light medium, I'm just using this mirror because it's better. Um, the light medium is a perfect shade match for me for what I need it to do. Okay, so this, just the NARS is so far, it's just different. Um, I'm tempted to just try this. Just try it on this side. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this and see. Yeah, I just, same brush, I don't get the same powderiness off of this one, which is part of the magic, I think, of this one. Um, more like the Sizzly, so that's a good alternative, the Sizzly one, um, the their blur powder if you are deeper in tone, but that doesn't solve the problem for those who are um, lighter in skin tone than me. Um, it's nice, I mean, you see more of a glow here versus this, but we'll do a more in-depth video I just was really curious and wanted to see, a little bit impatient about checking to see how it worked. But yeah, so this is it. Quick, lo uh, quick look. I didn't really spend time on the eyes. I should probably look at this a little bit better. I think effortless is the best way to describe this. It's so pretty and just really easy to use and you don't have to use all the colors. I just use, well, I use three of these shades today. Um, but I think that's fine. It was just casual little brunch, just the two of us. And I don't want to look super made up, just put together. And of course the SPF, I want to make sure I have SPF on, which I do. So I've got SPF 50 on, it's visible sunscreen. Everything's put together. You can see now that that sunscreen isn't showing as like a, too light for my face, at least um, in real life, there might be some 
light interacting with it right now. Got some windows open here, but aside from that, that's it. And so we're gonna go to brunch. Oh yeah, by the way, I have this rack that I'm trying to put all of my capsule items on so we can kind of see them all together. You can see I have a trend, neutral, neutral tones, some blue, I consider that neutral, and then the greens. And then I just have a little bit of brown here. And I'll show you more as we go along, but I wanted to try this on for you because I think this is too big because I like the idea of it, but there's just too much fabric. It's not flattering. Love these shoes though. They're not as stiff as I thought they would be. There is more of a movement to them. I think I just need to try them on not after a long day. I think my feet were a little swollen. So I love the shoes, but let me try it on with another pair. See if that makes a difference. And then let's grab this little bag. And the bag always makes everything look better, but um, I think, actually, I'm looking in there, I have a mirror right here. This looks better with heels on, doesn't it? Hmm, but does it still look too big? Maybe it looks like right here, I feel like, it's not flattering, but I do again like how it falls away. So I like that it's really comfortable and then it kind of like goes flat here. I don't know, it's more flattering with heels on, but is that how I wanna wear this? I don't know, I kinda wanna wear it with some, like those New Balance right there. Still feel like it's too big of a size for me, even though I like things oversized. And then I need a belt, like I'd love a belt that might help. I love that um, my sister recommended the Fendi belts, but I can't get a handle on the sizing. I think I have to go try it. I also forgot to mention, I already have a jumpsuit that I love. It's this one, and I just remembered I had it. The one from Capri, the handmade one. It's linen, it's lovely, it's a herringbone pattern. Much more dressed up though, so I was looking for something more casual. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I feel like maybe this one doesn't make the cut because it's not perfect and I want only as perfect as you can get with clothing because I hang on to them for a long time. So I think this one might have to go back. But before I go, I wanna just show you this rack really quickly um, that has all of the items that I'll be kind of interchanging along the way. This is kind of a transitional wardrobe as well because I have some leather pieces and cashmere. So I have that jumpsuit just cause I wanted to remember that I had it. I've got my Chanel tweed um, skirt the jacket's over there. I kept the Kate, so the Kate denim is here. We've got, um, oh, these are some blue marine silk pants that I have that are really versatile. Um, and then I've got the Anna Faye pants. These are like a green silk. I have some Veronica Beard leather, really soft and buttery leather pants. We've got um, just some basic pieces, so American Vintage, this, uh, it's a little bit sheer. Another Anna Faye piece, a camisole. I have a Vince t-shirt. It's been through the dryer too many times, so I mean to just hang it, but I forget sometimes. This is gonna be something I'm gonna try on. This is not new at all. It's very well loved. It's Diane von Furstenberg uh, silk. Then I was asked about these. These are very much staple pieces. I'll press them at some point and you can see what they look like, but I just wanna kind of organize. So these are um, some silk shirts. And I do wash them in the regular wash, just really gently in a garment, not a garment bag, but a laundry bag. This one's by Lily Silk. This one's by Equipment. Then we've got, oh, that Jonathan Simkai top. I love it with these pants. These pants, I ended up loving them with these pants right here. Oh gosh, I should take these out and show you these pants. Um, they fit really well, but I did wash it by hand and it does, it needs to be ironed or pressed because it does maintain some of the creases. Here we go, let me take these out. We've got this Vince sweater that I love, cashmere. Also this Maj cardigan, very versatile. And then a couple of dresses. So this one was Bruce Brothers, a one shoulder one that I loved. I'm gonna keep that in there, it's cream. And then I thought this is not new at all, but it's black halo and it has all these colors that I'm kind of curating here, so. I thought we would, that's a Jackie O. We have a linen shirt dress by Arturi Capresi um, in Capri. This one here, lovely. I have here the Lily Silk, this dress in the sand washed silk. I like that finish better, it's not as shiny. I have a double breasted frame jacket for the summer. I got this on sale, 
still really love it. We've got an Anna Fay jacket here that goes with the pants. I have my Chanel jacket right here. And then another Chanel jacket right here. My YSL clutch. And then this Balmain hat that I wear a lot. I wear this quite a bit. These are the pieces that I think I love the most and things that will take us into um, spring and even summer. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. So please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.